Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the great culture. Let's talk about it. So I wanted to touch on the whole H3H3 H3 podcast and the uh, the H3H3 H3 podcast that Steven Crowder and Sam Cedar from the Majority Report, that whole situation. Um, I don't follow none of these guys. Um, all of them are from what I've gathered, from what I've gathered and what I've seen of them, they're, you know, political partisan shields for whatever party they represent. So, you know, Sam Cedar and the Ethan guy from H3H3, more Democratic, liberal, left wing, whatever, whatever you want to put it under. Left wing um, and Steven Crowder, more, you know, he's going to cape for the Republican and right wing side, right? But this situation stemmed, uh, Stephen Crowder had made a, and you're not, you know, I've seen Steve, some of Stephen Crowder's material, um, comes across, you know, not to say, you know, there's there are things that he says that have validity to him, but a, comes across as a very ignorant guy, uh, gets in his own way, but you know, like I said, he's entertaining, you know, at least he's entertaining, that's what generates his crowd you know a lot of times you know it's not about you know what type of person or you know conducting yourself in a professional way you know a lot of times the matter of fact not a lot of times more times than not the controversy is what sells so he's a very controversial figure and he says a lot of shit that gets uh, a lot of people up in arms now like i said i believe he's ignorant not because of his controversy but a lot of the takes that he has. But nonetheless, talk about this. He goes on to this H3, H3 contact podcast with this guy named Ethan. Now, I don't know anything about this Ethan character or anything like that. Uh, but there's enough that you can take away just from the situation that's being presented in front of us. Um, they're scheduled, you know, it's dealing with um, some comments that Crowder made about the the beer jab, uh, not the, or the CDC, as pertaining to the CDC guidelines. Or no, sorry, sorry about that. I believe it was the Ethan guy made some comments pertaining to the you know the the jab and CDC gu- guidelines, and basically was saying you know if the CDC says something, then you know that's what it is. You know they're a hundred percent you know legit. And Crowder's contending, you know, why would you go with anything? You know, why would you just throw all logic out of the window, you know, complete logic out of the window and listen to what they say, you know, blindly? You know, that's very, you know, that's just, it's very sheepish, you know, and I'm, that's in my words. So I definitely have to agree with Crowder on that, on, on that standpoint, uh, extremely sheepish, you know, just... You know, you're basically moving like a robot at that point. You know, these people are human beings just like yourself. Now, yes, they do have access to different tools that you uh, may not. But at the same time, there does have to be alternative perspectives. And you do have to use your brain in certain situations, because if not, you know, history always shows, you know, that's that's how that's how many things have happened throughout history, because simply because people uh cast out casted out their own cognitive thinking and you know relied solely on the government you know and that's what you know nine times out of ten that's what they're dependent on you know people to just uh, move remove all critical thinking and you know just go with whatever said so and that's what tends to happen even when you have these you know the followers of these guys and these different platforms you know it turns into a personality contest and who I like and, you know, who, you know, who I like versus what is actually wrong or right. What's the truth and what actually makes sense and the inability to criticize the, the person that you like. And that's what we're dealing with right here, because, you know, he goes on, they go on to have a debate and Crowder states the question, you know, addresses the question. Uh, addresses the question that they came to debate about and the Ethan guy just comes with a 
completely nonsensical response. I mean, maybe it's something I was missing in that metaphor. It's talking about uh, the Greeks or whatever, whatever warriors that were dealing with their, you know, dealing with young boys or whatever. It was just, it was so left field. But like I said, maybe I'm missing the, the, uh, the, how it relates to the question that was presented. Uh, but then in that same moment as Crowder's, you know, in, in a state of confusion and basically like, OK, like, what the hell are you talking about? Here comes uh, Majority Report Sam Cedar. He pops up. Now, I don't know the history between these two Crowder and Sam Cedar. Like I said, I don't follow these guys. I'm familiar. I, I, I'm not familiar. I know who Sam Cedar is and I know who Steven Crowder is. I did not know they had a personal beef or anything like that, but apparently Crowder's been ducking Cedar, you know, ducking uh, debates from him for a while. I uh, have no idea. He says he has his own personal reason. I don't, you know, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Me personally, if somebody wants to debate, anybody wants to debate, I'm going to give it to him because it's not about being right to me. At the end of the day, you know, if I'm wrong about something, I'm all open to learning something. But I am going to bring present my information to the table and I'm going to allow the other person to present their information to the table. And uh, I want to have a conversation with the people respectfully because it's all like I said, it's all about, you know, educating the people and being educated to yourself in in the same sense of how science works being able to arrive to a common conclusion, one that is one that is practical and makes sense, right? Um, so I don't know what this is about. You know, something about, you know, he he, he avoided, uh, you know, it's, apparently there's receipts and everything where he, you know, proves he avoided. They were supposed to have a debate at a Politicon, at the Politicon event in Cedar, you know, in the Politicon event, y'all know about that that that's a whole, you know, Republican, all those Republican events, Democrat or Republican, they're just they're two sides of the same circus, right? They're all gonna be shields, they're gonna agree with whoever their leaders, they'll be puppets for them no matter what, and they'll throw all logic and all criticism out the window, right? Uh, you know, and Democrats are notorious for it, but you know. People like to think Republicans, you know, are, are this, you know, huge, huge group of integrity. And they think they're for the Constitution and for human rights. But, you know, they'll go with Donald Trump, no, regardless when, you know, but they they forget about, you know, what Trump did with the Second Amendment laws, where, you know, he basically said not basically he literally said that, you uh, if, if dealing with the red flag laws, take the guns and give them due process later afterwards, basically, which is basically fuck due, due process. Uh, also, he implemented the bump stock bans. And there's so many other uh, constitutional, you know, just violations that Trump just implemented. So, you know, like I said, it's just two sides to the same, you know, coin, you know, same circus. Uh but yeah, Crowder came on here for a debate and it was agreed upon with him, him and and Ethan from H3H H3 and he gets Cedar. I get, and I'm pretty sure, you know, judging from, you know, you know, from Ethan's response and everything, it was just a complete setup. It was an ambush. And there's no integrity in that at all. No integrity at in that at all. When you know, you sit up there and you you know you agree with something and you you know you know you trust in somebody you come to some sort of agreement between the two parties to um you know to do something to have a debate and it's between y'all two that's what that was what was agreed on i don't want to sound redundant but that was what was agreed on and that's just a complete lack of integrity to go ahead and try to slide somebody else in that's just that's some real slimy shit it's not honorable at all and anybody but you got the media and everybody they you know they're gonna side with h3 and h3 and all of that the sam cedar it's slimy shit but you know the media is never gonna have integrity and the media for the most part is 
you know, leans more toward the left. So they're definitely going to top on that side. Um, and just, you know, just, you know, there's no morals in media. They don't care about that. They don't want to implement that. They don't want to teach that to your children. That, that So this, this was just completely low. It's not something that you do. I don't care how much you don't like a person, what you think about a person. Like I said, I'll debate a person. I, if he has facts about certain things, yeah, it should be debated. All the other stuff, yes, I believe, you know, Crowder was engaging in different ad homonyms, you know, talking about subscriber count, you know, and, you know, people don't know you. Like, uh, let's be realistic. I mean, Crowder has six million the cedar guy has one million. One million is nothing, definitely nothing to sneeze at. Shit, if a motherfucker has a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand subscribers, people are gonna know who he is. So a million subscribers is, you know, that's that's a big deal right there. That that's that's a huge deal. So you know, this is at six million, you know, you're, you know, you're out of this world. You know, you're doing a lot of big things. So. You know, but he, you know, can't downplay him, you know, just because, you know, you're at one place and you're scaling them, comparing them to you. He's still a very big deal. But those were ad hominem attacks. Um, I think, you know, Crowder should just should have just kept it at, you know, just simply is complete lack of integrity, you know, and just some slimy shit to do. You just don't do that. Um, you just don't do that. And the fact that he would even think something like that would be cool and, you know, be able to sleep at night. I mean, if he does, you know, all power, all power to him. But he wouldn't like if somebody did the same thing to him. I mean, it's ob so it's pretty obviously obvious that, you know, especially from his silly response to initial request to the initial question to, you know, how he reacted to debate and just, you know, basically avoiding the debate that, you know, he he, he you know, he was scared also if that was the case. He's scared of a debate. You know, he's trying to put it on Crowder. He doesn't want to have a debate. He doesn't have the facts or anything. Uh, yeah, just just shameful. Just a shameful thing. Like I said, I, I don't know much about these guys, but there's enough that's put in front of you just to, you know, you look at this and you have people who are, you know, taking sides and, you know, people who are, a lot of people who are cheering this on and saying, you know, basically going against Crowder simply because Crowder's the unlikable person. Well, I don't give a fuck if a person's unlikable, you know. Um, two plus two is always going to be four. It doesn't matter if, you know, if, if Hitler says it, right? It's always going to be four. And so what's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. You got to acknowledge that people got to do better because it's just, this is the type of shit that's just, you know, keeping the country, keeping society going, you know, in the in a spiral, in the downhill spiral, because, you know, just a lack of integrity and just people want to be blind to the truth. And, you know, just pouring more gasoline on the fire. But we'll learn eventually. It'll probably be too late by the time, but a learning process will will take place. You have to figure it out one way or another. So, not nah, shameful, shameful on the H three H three podcast. When you agree to somebody, agree with somebody, you know you have your word. You know your word is the most you know valuable thing on this in this world. You know contracts are just put in place because. As you see, like situations like this, people, human beings are, you know, very flawed and just, you know, a lot of times evil and don't want to acknowledge, don't want to stick to their word. So they have to put contracts and put stuff in writing to hold people and bind people to those agreements. But it shouldn't even come to that. You know, the best people you'll meet are people that don't need contracts. The ones that, you know, their word means everything to them. But other than that, I, I don't got nothing else. Let me know what you think in the comment section for the ones that, uh, you know, familiar with this whole situation. Give me your thoughts. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.